How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARK Let's Build video. And in today's video, we're going to be building this egg hatchery that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your ARK. And for a full list of building materials you will need as well as the map cords, you can find those in the description below. And all of the paint and decorations for this build was done by another YouTuber whose name is You Were a Monkey. So I'm going to leave her channel linked in a comment as well as the description. Make sure you guys go check out her channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing I want to do real quick before we actually get into the build is I just wanted to give you a quick kind of overhead look at what the overall foundation will look like so you can kind of get an idea of how much space you're going to need because I'm going to break this down and build it kind of piece by piece. So if you need to, go ahead and pause the video right now and kind of make sure you have enough space to actually do this build where you want to do it. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is build up the foundation for the main portion of our hatchery. So we're going to start off with a row of four stone foundations. Then on the side here, we're going to add a triangle stone foundation and one more regular foundation. We'll then place seven stone triangle foundations. We'll add another regular foundation and another triangle. We'll add four more regular right here. Another triangle followed by another regular. Then seven more triangles on this side. And then finally, one more regular foundation and one more triangle to fill this in. Then we're going to go ahead and fill in the center. So starting off right here, we're going to place a, a row of nine stone triangle foundations. We'll then add three rows of five regular stone foundations. And then we'll finish it off with one more row of nine stone triangle foundations. And with that place, that's gonna make up the main portion of our foundation. So just go ahead and switch all of the regular foundations to block. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is add our pillars on to our main portion here. So we're gonna start off here on the front left corner. We're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on this regular foundation. And then on each side of that, we're going to snap six high metal pillars. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here on this foundation. And it'll look like this. So now we're going to go to the back side of our build and do the exact same thing back here. Now with those plays, we're going to come to either one of our sides. And on the side triangle foundation, we're going to add another wooden fence foundation. Right like this. And then on this outside snap point, we're going to place five high metal pillars. We're going to do the same thing over here on this other one right here on this corner. Then we will add another wooden fence foundation on one of these middle foundations. And on this middle snap point, we're just going to add three high pillars. So just like this. Now go around to the other side and copy what we just did. All right, so now here on the main portion of our build, we're going to build up our kind of like first level of walls, which is gonna be our subfloor. So we're gonna start here on this kind of left corner right here. We're just going to place a stone wall on both of these. We'll place stone walls going across the front. Do that again over here on this right corner. We're gonna place another one right here. And now in these next two spots, we're going to place stone double door frames. Then we'll add another wall right here, two more walls right here, four more going across the back here. 
another two right here, another one right here, and then again, two stone double door frames in these two spots, and then just one more stone wall right here. All right, so next we're gonna fill this area in with HVAC units or Dimetrodons, whatever you're gonna to use to hatch your eggs. Now the max you should need is 22 HVAC units to hatch any egg. Now if, depending on where you're living, the temperature where your base is, you may need more than that. So if you get 22 down and it's still not working, just continue to add more until it works. But I'm gonna go ahead off camera real quick and fill this area in with a ton of HVAC units. All right, so as you can see, I have filled in the bottom portion with air conditioners. Now I have used way more than you could ever possibly need. But like I said, just use 22, and if it still is not working for some reason, add a few more until you get it to work. So we're gonna go ahead and continue by building up the walls. Now the reason we're doing walls next before we fill in that first level ceiling is because we're gonna be using triangle ceilings and those can kind of cause issues with multiple snap points. So we're gonna go ahead and build up the walls first so that you don't have to contend with those triangle ceiling snap points. So we're gonna start off here on this left corner by adding a three high metal wall on each of these. Now here on the front between these two pillars, we're gonna add four high metal walls. We're gonna skip this middle section, come over here and do the same thing, four high metal walls. And then on this corner, we'll again add three high metal walls on each one. Now we're gonna go to the back side and just duplicate what we just did. Now over here on the left side, this is where our laboratory is gonna be. So we're gonna start off by placing two high greenhouse walls right here, and then a metal wall on top. We'll place a greenhouse door frame right here, a greenhouse wall, and then another metal wall, and then fill that in with a greenhouse door. We'll do the same exact thing right here. And then right here again, we'll place two greenhouse walls and then a metal wall. Then we'll head over to our right side. This is where our murder room is gonna be, where you're gonna take care of any of those unwanted babies. So we're gonna start off right here with a three high metal wall. We'll then place two high metal double door frames and a metal wall on top, and then fill those in with metal double doors. We'll do the exact same thing right here. And then right here, again, we will place three high metal walls. Next, we're gonna come to the inside, just above where we have our stone walls, where it divides between stone and metal, and we're gonna fill this first level in with stone ceilings and triangle ceilings. So just go ahead and follow the pattern that you have on the ground and completely fill this area in. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill in this open section with a gate frame and gate. So we'll go ahead and start off by placing a wooden fence foundation right here on this ceiling. Then go ahead and snap a metal dinosaur gate frame to that and just fill that in with a reinforced dinosaur gate. Go ahead to the back side and do the same thing back here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start working on our roof. Now our roof is gonna be two different heights. So we're gonna start off here where we have our three high walls and we're just going to add a kind of a lip of ceilings going around the inside. So we'll start off with a triangle ceiling right here, then a regular ceiling, triangle ceilings going across this entire side, another regular ceiling, and then a triangle ceiling. So it'll give us something that looks like this. So now go to the other side and do the same thing over here. Now, once we have both sides done like this, go to either side and we're going to place a thatch ceiling down in front of one of these ceilings, just like this. Then we are gonna get out a metal wall and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that we get something that looks like this. So this is actually snapping to the thatch ceiling, basically acting as if you had walls running down to the ground. So we're gonna do this in front of each one of these ceilings.
And then we are also going to go around and do this on this side as well. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start filling in the topmost roof. So we're going to start off here on the front above our gate frame by placing four stone ceilings going across. Then in the next row, we'll add nine stone triangle ceilings. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the back side. Then on each of these sides, we're going to add three more stone ceilings. And that should leave us with a three by three gap here in the middle. So what we're gonna do is get out stone giant hatch frames and we're gonna place one in each corner. So we'll start off by placing one right here. We'll place another one in this corner, kind of overlapping them. Do that again right here. And one more time right here. And that'll create us this nice pattern on top of our roof. And you should be able to do this even on official settings. I tested it on official settings and it does work. So now we're just going to go ahead and fill this in with greenhouse ceilings. All right, next we're going to work on our kind of like staircase entryways that we have on each side. So we're going to start off right here on the front by coming in here between these two metal pillars and placing two stone foundations out. We'll do that again right here in front of these ones and then go ahead and switch all four of those to block. Then once you have those switched to block, we're gonna go ahead and place one stone wall on this back foundation on each side and do that again on the other one. And then add the appropriate sloped stone wall on each side of that. And then add one more sloped stone wall in front of those. So you should have something that looks like this. So now go ahead and fill those in with stone stairs. Add one more stone stair coming off the front on each one. And then go ahead and place two stone stairs in front of our gate frame and two more coming down from those. So we should have something that looks like this for our entrance. So now go ahead and duplicate this on the back side. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our side room. So we're gonna start off over here on the left. We're gonna come in here and place two rows of four stone foundations. Then on this corner foundation right here, right here on this side, we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation. And on each side of that, we're going to snap four high metal pillars. We're gonna come over here to this corner foundation and do the same thing right here. Then we're gonna come inside here and right here kind of in the middle, we're gonna get out a tech generator and we're just gonna place it down right here. It doesn't have to be perfectly placed because this is all gonna be covered up anyways. Now it is very important that you place this now because we're going to place a ceiling above it and you won't be able to come in here and put it inside after that ceiling's placed. And also if you don't have the ability to use tech yet, just go ahead and use a normal electrical generator. So we're now gonna head over to the other side and we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. The only difference is we're not going to place down a generator. Now, once you have this side finished off as well, just go ahead and switch all of these foundations on both sides to block. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and build up the walls for both of these portions. So starting here on the left side, we're gonna head in here and on this corner foundation right here, we're gonna place a stone door frame and reinforced door. Then on top of that, we're just gonna add two metal walls. We're gonna head to our backside real quick and do the same thing on this inside corner right here. 
Then on the remainder of these foundations, we're just going to place one stone wall and two metal walls. Now that we have this side done, we're going to go over to our other side and just do the exact same thing over there. Now the last thing we have to do for these side portions is come inside here where our stone and metal walls meet and we're just going to place a metal ceiling to fill this in. Then we will come to the very top and add another layer of metal ceilings up here. And then lastly, we're gonna go around to where we have our door frame and we're going to place a stone stair in front of it and then next to it and do that on the front as well over here. And now just head over to our other side and do the exact same thing over here. All right, so that is gonna do it for the shell of our build. Now we're gonna go around the outside and do a few more things to get some more detail into the build. So starting off here on this left corner, we're going to place a thatch ceiling down at the bottom of each of these two metal walls, just like this. Then we're gonna get out a stone door frame and the first thing we're going to do is rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have something that looks like this. Now before you place it, we're also going to flip the door frame around again using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have this right here. So go ahead and place that down and it should look like this. So now we're gonna add two more on top of that. Now just be very careful that you're placing it on the door frame below and not destroying the metal wall behind it. Go ahead and then pick up your thatch ceiling and this will be what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and do that all again right here. And this will be the end result for the corner of our build. So we're gonna go around to the other three corners and do the same thing. Now with those corners all done, we're gonna head up here where we have these metal walls kind of lining right above these ceilings. And we're gonna do the same thing. Now we don't need thatch ceiling, so all you have to do is get out your door frame, rotate through the snap point, and then flip it. And just go ahead and continue doing that across the side here. And then go ahead around to the other side and do the same thing. All right, so the next thing we're gonna to do to add some more detail is use stone railings. So we're gonna start off here on the front between these two pillars. We're again going to place a thatch ceiling, this time just above these stone stairs. And then we are gonna get out a stone railing and again, rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have something that looks like this. So go ahead and place that down. And then we're just gonna stack five more on top of that. So we'll have this as an end result. So go ahead and destroy that thatch ceiling. And this is what we'll get. So we're gonna go ahead and do that between these two pillars also. And then we're gonna go ahead around to the backside and do this again between both sets of pillars on the backside. Now continuing with the stone railings, we're going to come over to one of our sides and right above this stone door frame, we're going to place another thatch ceiling. Then we're going to place another one right here and we're going to go ahead and get out stone railings and again rotate the snap point so that you have this right here and place it down. And then just add one more right here and we're only going to build these one high. So go ahead and pick both of these up. 
We'll come over here to the side and place four more thatch ceilings down. And then we're just gonna do the same thing that we did there on the front. And then we'll come around to the back side and again, do the same thing. So now that we have this side done, we're gonna go to our other side and do the exact same thing over here. Now that we have those bottom rows done, we're gonna go ahead to the top right here and just add another line going around the top. Then go ahead around to the other side and do the same thing over here. All right, so we have one more step here on the outside to add some more stone railings in. So first, right here on this ledge, we're gonna go ahead and line this ledge with stone railings. Now, there are multiple snap points going along this and it can be very frustrating to get the snap point that we want. So I'm gonna show you the best possible way I think that we can get the one we're looking for. So for these two ceilings right here, we're gonna come up on top of these, of the ledge actually up here. And basically what you're gonna do is get out your stone railing and you're just gonna kind of look out into the horizon so that it kind of looks like it's hanging over the ceiling and place that down and you'll see it is hanging over. And we're gonna do the same thing for this one right here. Now it can, it can be a little bit more tricky when you're doing it for this one, but just go ahead and kind of look out and there you'll go. We'll have it placed down just in line with that one. Now for these four right here, we're gonna come down onto this metal ceiling and we're gonna go ahead and just kind of hug the wall like this, get out your railing and then look out sideways and you'll see it kind of bounces out. And if you place it down, it'll be placing where we want it. So go ahead and do that again for this one. And then turn around and do it for these two as well, facing this way now. And if you do end up getting the wrong one, if you just, I, I was looking a little bit too inside there. So I'm just going to pick it up and look a little bit further out and try again. And there we go. It'll all line up. So now we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna do the same thing we did for the other side right here. We're just gonna kind of come in here and just kind of look out into the horizon until we get the one that's hanging over just like that and then do it one more time right here. And there we go. So we have all of these on this side all lined up the same way. So now we're gonna go around to the other side and do the same thing over there. All right, so now that we have both sides placed, all of our railings are in line with each other. The next ones we're gonna add are here on the very top. We're gonna place four going across the front here. We're gonna add another one on this side. We'll place another one on this triangle ceiling. Now there are two snap points here, so just make sure you get the one that lines up with that one. And then we will just continue going around this topmost level, placing these until we reach our start point there on the front. All right, so there we go. And now the last thing we're gonna do here on the outside is come up to our greenhouse ceilings and we're just going to surround this greenhouse ceiling with stone railings. All right, so now for our final step, we're gonna go ahead and do our entire interior of our build. So the first thing we're gonna do here in our middle section where we have kind of this drop down wall is we're gonna go ahead and get out stone railings and they should be able to snap just like this kind of hanging underneath of them. So go ahead and place one there and then just continue doing this until you reach the other side of the build. And this will just kind of create a nice little effect hanging down from that wall just to add a little bit more detail here on the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and do that over here as well. Then once you have all of those placed, we're gonna now head inside of our laboratory area. And the first thing we're going to do is get out a wooden ladder and place it facing in this direction. So you wanna be able to climb onto the ladder. So go ahead and climb up it and then go ahead and get out a cryo fridge and jump off. And basically what this is allowing us to do is this is allowing us to place this perfectly straight. So we're gonna place it just about right here we're gonna place another one right to the side of it, about right here. We'll add another one over here on this ceiling, and then one more to the side of that. 
So now even on official settings, you should be able to place four of those up against that wall. Go ahead and destroy this ladder. Then we're gonna turn around and face this wall and place another ladder down again so we can climb on it. Go ahead and jump up on that. And now this time get out a normal refrigerator, jump off. And we're just going to kind of line this up right here up in this corner, just so it's not quite in the wall, just like this. We'll place another one right in the middle and then one more over in this corner. Now you should be able to place three of these even on official settings. Obviously I didn't place them perfectly, but we'd be here forever if we were trying to place them perfectly. So I'm not gonna go ahead and try to line those up absolutely perfect. Go ahead and destroy that ladder and then place another one facing this back wall or the side wall again so that you're able to climb on it. And then this time we're gonna go ahead and get out either a tech trough or a normal feeding trough, uh, depending on what you're using. And just kind of try to line this up perfectly straight with the middle of the wall. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just as good as you can get it. And then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy that ladder as well. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we are going to place a stone railing in front of these cryo fridges. And you'll see you can still access the inventory and then also in front of the normal refrigerators. And again, you'll be able to see that you can still access the inventory. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now, as always, you were a monkey is going to come in here and work her magic on the paint and the decorations. So guys, stick around for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. All right, guys, so like I said, you were a monkey has came in here and hooked us up with an awesome paint job and some great decorations. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of real quickly what she's done. But like I said, guys, she is actually going to have a full tour video of this. So make sure you check the comments in the description below for a link to her channel and go check out the full tour video showing off everything she's done for the build. So first things first, as you can obviously see here on the outside, she's hooked us up with a really um, kind of regal or like Spartan uh, paint scheme here a lot of red and yellow and whatnot uh, throwing some griffins up top kind of to fit that regal theme I think it looks really awesome um, definitely something that I'm a fan of and I would like to have on you know my base as we head inside here in our main hatching area she's thrown us a nice you know little plant decorations in here throwing down some taxidermies to kind of give us this little this is something really neat she does it's kind of like a family uh, theme here inside of the breeding pens or the hatchery She's done her own kind of details here on our laboratory to make it look more like a laboratory. Um, she's thrown a lot more stuff in here than we had originally. Um, so it looks a lot more like a laboratory now. We've got like a little desk station here. We've got more cryos and whatnot, more fridges. And then as we head over to our murder room, this is obviously me and Monkey's favorite part of this. She has hooked us up with a sign in here that says murder room, says kill. We have another one over here, but it looks like it's not rendering in right now. Uh, but she's really made this look very uh, menacing and you know, all the red and black and whatnot. Definitely, there it goes, there it rendered in. Definitely fits the purpose for what it is. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me some feedback down below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. Also, guys, once again, make sure you go check out You Were Monkey's channel and show her some love for all of her hard work on this build. And go ahead and check out the description below for links to my Discord, my social media, and go ahead and join up on those and come chat with us and hang out and feel free to share pictures of your build. Anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.